pretty standard detail in the back of any T5 at least um, is to carpet the walls. Um, so you carpet the metal of the van first and you carpet ply panels and put them on after um, to make the back look nicer basically and get rid of all the cold metal. Um, this is going to be no different. Um, we've gone with, I think it's an anthracite mega stretch carpet from Mega Van Mats. Um, I'll put a link in the description to that. Um, they advise you need a 10 metre roll, I think it is, of carpet um, and 10 cans to line a van doing the metal work separate from the panels, uh, including the roof on a short wheelbase, that is. I've gone for 12 metres um, just because I like to have a little bit spare just in case um, anything goes wrong. Um, but I'll put a link to that in the description as well. I've used the carpet before, it's pretty decent carpet. I do like working with it. Um, there's many, many, many videos on YouTube of how to carpet your van. Um, so I'm not going to go too in depth with it. This is going to be just sort of a documentation of this process to this build. Um, pretty simple, really. From what I can remember, it's been two or three years since I last carpeted a van. Um, but from memory, you start along the top, um, start this end, get a get it sort of fixed at this end, um, work your way to about that pillar and then start working your way down and then you continue across and it should stretch around everything that you need to. Like I say, it has been a long time since I last carpeted a van, but must be like riding a bike surely. Let's give it a go. So that's the both sides of the back carpet lined. We've not done the top yet because I still need to um, adjust the doors a little bit. Um, but yeah, looking good so far. Now on this, I'm not putting any sound deadening in the van. Um, reason being, sound deadening is sort of a bit of a luxury um, for a, a camper interior. Um, quite a lot of well-known companies 
don't fit Sam Denning as standard. It's an extra. Um, it makes a bit. Of, it does make a lot of difference. My very first T5, um, which I'll put a picture in now. Um, this had, um, I think I uh, this was done six or seven years ago, and I added. I think I used flash banding for sound deadening in that, um, which it worked. Um, but I wouldn't. I don't know if I'd go throwing silly money at it to be honest. At sound deadening, it's a lot of money. It's very heavy. Um, it makes a difference, yes, but it's a lot of money for what it is. All we're doing with this is I've carpeted the metalwork, as I've shown you, and we're going to be putting this in, which is um, Dodo Thermo Fleece. So it's like a recycled plastic insulation, which will go in the, in the cavities in the voids. Um, and then we'll carpet ply panels and put them over top. Now, the Dodo, massive shout out to Transporter HQ. If you need anything for your T5, hit them boys up. They've got full range of uh, dodo items. They've got I've got site, um, combi step, threshold strip, everything like that from Transport or HQ. I'll put a link to all of them in the description. If you need anything for a T5, hit them up. They do amazing headlights, amazing rear lights. I would highly recommend them. Real nice bunch of guys as well. Ply lining. So we've got six mil ply. Um, which has got the factory fit holes in it. And again, massive, massive, massive shout out to Matt at Infinity Customs. I'll put a link in the description below. He hooked us up with the ply lining kit. He also does an amazing um, halo roof. So you have a one piece headliner and then a strip around the edge that you put LED in and it has like a halo around the edge. It looks amazing. Definitely go and check them out. And again, if you need anything for the inside of your van like that, hit them up. They also do camper furniture as well, which is real nice stuff. Definitely give them a shout if you need anything. So one thing that I will do, and I'll do that, that's the next thing I'm going to do. I've carpeted the walls of the van, as you see. We now need to work out where all the holes are for these fixings. And the way that I do that is a soldering iron. So I'll get the ply panel, push it up into the hole. It will show me where the hole should be in the metalwork. Soldering iron, touch it in, and that will melt the carpet. Take the ply out and then you can open the hole up to where it needs to be. And then we do the same in them panels when they're carpeted. So, let's get on with that. Right, as I was saying, metal works carpeted, looks all nice and thick there. You've got a plywood panel. Now, what you can do, which is what I've just done with this hole here, is you feel along, roughly know where the holes are. I think there was one there. So you put that in, but then there could be one here. It's a nightmare. So easy thing to do, get your ply panel before you carpet it. Sit it in roughly in place. Hold there. Hold there. And then pop that through. That'll mark your holes in your ply. Oh, and your mat and your carpet, and you can then go back without the ply there and sort the holes out properly. Now, the carpet isn't the nicest stuff, you should probably wear a mask. I haven't got a mask, so I'm not wearing a mask. He says, Is it you can't find this hole? It is. Right. You can see there yeah, that's marked the holes and that one's done finished so you got the hole marked like that and that's bang on now that will you clip will go into that because if you try banging your clips in without doing this um, you just bend and snap the clips because the carpet's too thick it won't allow them in. This is an interchangeable tip soldering iron. So I've got one tip that's always well one tip that's covered in carpet like this and then I've got a tip for actually using it for soldering. This is the easiest way I've found of doing it. Any other ideas? 
feel free to hit me up in the comments and let me know. Yeah, I think that carpet's pretty toxic, so yeah, probably wear a mask when you're doing it. Here's the fleece liner then, 100 mil thick stuff, um, and it work, it's really easy to work with. You literally just rip it, and that's it. I'm going to feed that in there. Like I say, this is a budget, showing you what you can do on a budget to get you a van that's usable and has got a bit of insulation in it. If, if you're doing this as an expensive van, you would be every single tiny little crevice filling it. But we're doing a budget version, so minimal put in, maximum reward. So that's insulation in there. We'll go and carpet the other panel and knock that panel on, and then that's that bit done. But right, that supply panel cut, um, the holes all uh, soldering ironed out as well. Clips I'm using are these knocking clips, and they're just flat on the top, just because I like the look of them, and they, in theory, are easy to work with, and they just look nice. This is a bit of a tricky bit to do. Um, you've carpeted both sides, came round, and your carpet ends at a point that's pretty equal both sides. We now need to put a piece of carpet across the middle. Um, so the way that I do that, take the door patches off so you're not going to get glue on them. I take the carpet as well so you're not going to get glue on the carpet. Um, and then we'll spray glue a piece of carpet and the metal work, starting from the middle working out and get to the point and then we'll take the tape off and cut through the carpet and it will uh, be in the right place. So something I've done is go around and put silver foil tape over every hole that we're going to be covering with carpet. Now the reason for this is over time air will pull through those holes as you open the doors, close the doors, the windows are open, you're driving, all of that stuff. Air will pull through there and eventually, no matter what carpet you use, you'll get a little dark spot of dirt where this is like a filter and it's blocked the dirt from getting through. So any hole, just cover up in tape, um, silver tape, so that the air can't get through and you shouldn't get marks on it. i 
addicted to drama It keeps you sleeping at night Keep losing your shit on my problems You know that something ain't right Blaming me for causing your insanity I'm pretty sure you're born like this Oh, talk before you think it's your original touch But I guess it kinda works on you So that's that done, carpeting, ticked off the list and done. Um, I can't finish the inside of the van really um, because I can't really put the B pillars, trims and things in because the seals need to come out for when you paint it and you put the seals in, then put the B pillars in. So we can't do that yet. So technically the inside is pretty much, other than fitting the seat covers, is, is about done other than putting things back together. Um, it's by no means a how-to video this it was just another documentation of a process we've done on the van might help someone might not might have been a waste of time doing the video um, but yeah walls are carpeted um, metalworks carpeted plywoods carpeted roofs carpeted and so is the cab headliner insulation in um, floor I've got a ply floor down um, but I've not ordered the carpet yet I'll be ordering the carpet for that this week so hopefully we'll get that this week if not early next week and get that slung down but that's not a massive job not really a problem um so yeah as ever thank you so much for watching um the channel is doing really well um please like and subscribe liking it and subscribing to the channel plays with or helps with the algorithms and things on youtube and it just bumps us up um, and it'll help the channel grow um a bit quicker so the like really does help the channel um subscribe and Click the little bell notification so you get notified when we post a video. Um, but yeah, I think we're done. Until next time, enjoy. <laughs>